Okay, so what we're doing here is making a spray for plants that will help them grow. And it's filled with hormones and enzymes from embryonic seeds. Here I have wheat berries. If I bring this up close, you can see that the wheat berries have little tails sticking out of them. And that's because they've been soaked for a day and then put in a jar like this to sprout. When they sprout, those little tails come out. That's a baby root coming out. And what's happening in there is that the little embryo plant is starting to break down the material that is in the seed so that it can grow. And to do that, it uses a lot of hormones and enzymes to break down that food for its growth. And those hormones and enzymes make for very rapid root growth and early development. And we want to get a hold of them and hold them so that we can spray them on other plants and things that we transplant and things that we prune so that we can prune and then spray. So the berries in there have been germinating for a day. And then once a day, put water in there and you see the water gets cloudy. That water is what we're after because that contains all the hormones and enzymes. If you, once a day, drain that water out and then let the berries grow the next day, put some water in, swirl it around, you get that cloudy water, you save the cloudy water, back in, that was known as rejuvelac. It's a rejuvenating, hormonally rich solution. And we're going to now take that and make a spray out of it. So I've saved quite a bit of the Rejuvelac. And now I'm going to put that in a two-gallon bucket. So that's maybe a quart and a half, two quarts of Rejuvelac. And what I'm going to do is now add uh, coconut water here to that. A little less than half and half. So I now have about a gallon of liquid, half coconut water, half Rejuvelac. So this is a sprayer that holds a liter of water. I usually fill it about three quarters of the way through. And now I'll add about a quarter cup of that to a liter of water. The application of this will be, again, with the rule of less is more. So I mix it in with the water, pump it up a bit, and I set my sprayer on the finest setting that I can to make a very fine mist. So in this um, a flat here, these are chamomile uh, seedlings. They will probably go out to be transplanted maybe next week. They're about two weeks old and in the evenings and in the mornings I come out and, just and uh, I'll do that 
every morning and evening before I transplant them. And um, when they go into the bed, I won't do it quite as much as that, maybe once a week or so. Mm -hmm.